went to Dollar Tree twice this weekend. And I think the first time I spent about 50, the second time I spent about 30. But I am going to split it into two separate videos just because my shorter videos tend to do a little bit better. And I do get a little chatty. So I'm going to try to just get right into it. But basically, I had a birthday party and I always go into Dollar Tree to grab my gift bags and my tissue paper and cards. I'm sure you guys all know that it's definitely one of the most popular things at Dollar Tree. It's where most people go for that kind of stuff. So I had to run in. And then like you guys know, I always, always see other things. So let's get right into it. I grabbed one of these. I've mentioned her before, Thrifty Tiffany, one of my favorite Dollar Tree YouTubers. She shared this and she even said how it was really different compared to the other ones they sell because it's actually a spray. See, it says event clip and pump spray. And it's in Hawaiian Sunrise and it lasts for up to 100 days. Let me smell this. I actually didn't smell it in store. I just got so excited that I saw this. I get so excited when I see things that I actually see other YouTubers haul. That smells really good. It's faint. It might smell better once, you know, when it's actually sprayed. But it smells really good. It says you just squeeze the top and the bottom for the spray to come out. It'll come out in the middle when you squeeze here. So there was three left in the store and I literally grabbed the last three. And then it's going to be a whole mosh posh of things, guys. I'm kind of just grabbing out of bags here. I went into the school section because I work at a school, so I'm always picking up supplies there. And I specifically have been wanting mechanical pencils. And they ended up having these really, really cute ones. I was like, oh, my God, perfect timing because I need mechanical pencils. Because knowing me, I would have bought them even if I didn't need them just because how cute they are. So I love these. It even says how there's three leads in each pencil. And it has a soft comfort grip. And like, I love that black and white. One is kind of dark, I don't know what I'm trying to say. This one's more line work and this one's more bold, like the print, but I absolutely love them. So I picked up these two and I also grabbed this while I was there, a roller pen with highlight. I love highlighting things in my journal and color coding. And I, I just really like the concept of it being right on the same marker, right on the same, right with the, on the pen. So it's the same writing utensil, I'm trying to say. And I'm curious what roller pen is. It says smooth writing metal tip. So I figured I would just give it a shot and you get two for a buck. You can't go wrong there. And then I grabbed Paper Mate, Writer Brothers Smooth Ink Sleek Design. It says smooth writing for any occasion, 1.0 milliliter ballpoint, and it came with eight pens for a buck. So definitely a good deal. So that's what I got in the school section. And then I also ended up grabbing some Halloween things again. Nothing major. Things are starting to dwindle a little bit. But I did find a decent amount of crafts, which you guys will see. But I bought a vase. I'll actually show that first right here. And I bought these really cool in another haul. It's not in this haul eyeball candy that I think fill this in in here will look really cool displayed out on my entryway table and I thought these would look really cool sticking out of the vase that's why I specifically wanted one like that because I could have got any like I have some that are like mason jaw style but I don't I don't know what it is I don't like when you can see the ridges around it I feel like it's meant to be covered so I wanted one that just doesn't have that. So, it, you know, it looks like it's supposed to be open for these fingers to stick out of. It's zombie lollipop fingers and then sour apple. I actually already showed these in that haul too. But I ended up grabbing more because I know my boyfriend, he loves sour apple. So I know he's going to end up grabbing out of that. But I kind of want, I want it for decor and it's functional. Like, of course, I want him to enjoy it if he wants candy. So this way, as he's eating it, I can keep replacing it. So hopefully that gets through to the month of October. I think that's five packages. It should. It's about to be October 1st on Friday. We're almost there. And then I grabbed candy. Oh my God, I showed you guys this in my last haul. I love when I can tell you guys that something I showed was amazing. Because sometimes I show you guys things and I'm hyped up for it. But then when I actually use it or try it, depending if it's food or whatever, I end up not liking it. And this one I absolutely love. I hate candy canes, guys. But these are nerd candy canes. They are so good. It's a candy shell on the outside, but soft and chewy on the inside. And it's like double flavor. So like, for example, the green one is a watermelon shell, but with a cherry inside. So, so good. So I grabbed three more bags while I was at it. 
And then I also grabbed, this is by Kool-Aid, but it's a candy. It's I, At first I thought it was like a Kool-Aid Kool mix because it says Kool-Aid, but it's not. It's literally a popping candy. And my boyfriend loves popping candy. He likes mixing it with his drinks and watching it fizz and then drink and then eating the candy. And it is in Scary Berry. And it says it comes with three packets of candy in here. So not bad for a buck. And then I was so happy I saw these. I figured my store was never going to get them. I guess they just put it out late. I've been seeing these in people's hauls since like August. And it's the initials. And it kind of worked out perfect in my favor because I wanted one of each to, you know, throw in some white, throw in some orange. And it was our exact letters. So R is the letter that starts my last name. And G is the last, the letter that starts my boyfriend's last name. So it was like it was meant to be. So I can't wait to display these. I will be doing an apartment tour really soon. I'm waiting for one last piece of fall decor. I figured I would show you guys the apartment while it was decorated. In case you guys are wondering what's taking me so long. But you guys know things also do take me a while. Because that's just the kind of person I am. Oh, and there was one more thing in the back to school section. So actually, I think there's two things. Maybe she put it in a separate bag. Because I believe I got two of these in different colors so it's color sense scented felt tip pens i didn't really care that they were scented but i just love felt tip pens in general and this one was a medium tip and the design on them is obviously really cute so this is like i don't know if that's like really hard to tell it looks like it's orangey pink and then you get a really cool lime green so it even says aromatherapy uses essential oils to positively influence the mind, body, and spirit. Color sense therapeutic formulations include essential oils that help promote calmness, relaxation, alertness, and focus. Because it does say it's therapeutic sense with essential oils. Oh, so that's cool. So this is kind of like an adult version of the markers that the kid, we used to get as kids that had scents that you would sniff. But that's actually with essential oils. And I actually use these more as when I color. So I'll, I love to color. It's definitely how I relax or I do word searches, different activities like that. I have been thinking about filming that. So if that's something that would interest you guys, let me know. I know I like to have videos on in the background. So if it's something like you want me to film when I'm coloring or when I'm doing a word search, and then you guys can do it while you're doing a word search or while you're coloring, and I can put on soothing music or something. But it's kind of cool. It would be like a double relaxation because I'm doing my adult coloring, plus I get the essential oils mixed in. And then I grabbed another one of these. I have didn't realize how useful these were. I originally got one. It was in a haul forever ago. And originally I was thinking it was going to be for my phone. But it actually doesn't hold my phone that well. I was like looking for my phone. Hello, I'm filming with it. I think because the hole here is too big. The phone slides right out. Even when it's this way, then this kind of gets in half the way of the screen. And I don't like it. But I have like random pieces of knickknacks or decor. Like I have like a little plate that says odds and ends. And I have like the letter boards where you can make your own little quotes. I have one in the living room that says, let's cozy up and watch a movie. And right now I have it on an easel, but I think it looks a little weird on the easel. So I, I the odds and ends is on one of these and I love the way it looks. So I'm like, oh, I, if I can score another one of those at Dollar Tree, I would love to put my my letter board on it that says let's cozy up and watch a movie in the living room so i finally scored them once in a blue moon you can even find the bigger ones i have the big ones that's usually how i display my seasonal pieces like i have a sign from dollar tree that says welcome with a bunch of pumpkins i don't usually hang them i like wreaths on my door so instead of hanging it on the wall i have it on my kitchen island when you walk in you'll see that in the apartment tour but i have it on one of these easels and like i have this covered by like pumpkins and stuff it looks really cute so I was happy I was able to find one of those again. Like I said, they had a lot of craft pieces this time. I specifically was looking for these haunted houses for so long because I wanted to do like a haunted house theme. And I finally found them, but not enough because I wanted to do like a boo town. I don't know if you guys ever heard that. It was just like a bunch of haunted houses and you make your own little like town out of them. You put like a creepy tree. They sell the trees at like the Dollar Spot and Target or they've been selling them even at five below for three bucks. They have the smaller ones that already have the piece where it stands up. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, I was just going to paint these black, but they didn't have enough pieces now. When I went, they didn't have it at all. Now when I went, they only had one. And this is the taller one. You would have to get, but Dollar Tree does sell like just wooden planks and stuff. Or you could even do a wooden ruler and just glue it just so it has something to stand on. But you can even make it 3D and do another one here. If you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I saw some people do that and add like lights in it. I, that's what I really wanted to do. 
but at least I can have one. Either I'm going to save it up for next year or I might do something else with it. I might just paint them for the heck of it as a little activity. I've been seeing a lot of people make t-shirts with these out of bleach. They lay it on a black t-shirt and then they spray bleach and then it has kind of the imprint of this. I've been thinking about maybe doing that. So I just grabbed kind of one of each so you guys can see what they offer. This is a really cute activity if you have kids. So I grabbed the cat with the pumpkin. I also grabbed a ghost. I grabbed a jack-o'-lantern can't believe they finally have these out now and i've been seeing these for forever i get my dollar tree was just very very delayed i guess but yet they already have christmas right now you guys will see that in the part two and then they have this one which is the witch coming out of a cauldron it's really funny that's really cute and then i think this is the last one it's the witch mixing her concoction in her cauldron right here and i think they did really cool detail on her face she even has the pointed chin the pointed nose the tooth the hat i really like it my boyfriend's calling me i'll answer him later <laughs> and then like i said i did go in for a card and they are two for a dollar and i actually have a baby shower next month so while i was there i just picked up a baby shower card how cute is it for the parents to be and i'm making her a gift basket i will film it because i do like to show you guys gift basket ideas that obviously won't be dollar tree items there actually are some dollar tree items there's some baby bottles you guys will see but a lot of the items i got on clearance or just really good sale at burlington and then for the gift basket i bought the basket bags i love getting these at dollar tree they're two bucks i just wrap it around the basket and it even includes a little twisty tie or you can buy just a really cute decorative bow and then when I was in that section with the cards, I noticed they had really nice birthday stuff out right now. So I scooped them up. I, I, I know technically I don't need it right now, but I do have like a little basket in my craft room that literally says like gift wrap and bags. I will just throw these in there to hold on to it for now because when you want them, half the time they're not there. It's when you don't want it and you see it there. So I scooped it up while I was there. My boyfriend's birthday is in November. I'm thinking about making him a cake. So how cute is this? I mean, for a buck, you guys know I party. This thing would be like, what, 10 bucks? I don't even know. I haven't been to I party in years because I always go to Dollar Tree. But it says happy birthday in the silver. I don't know if you guys can tell. With the white background, it might be kind of hard to tell. And then they also had these banners. So I might put one up on the wall. We shall see. And it's beautiful, classic black and gold. And it comes even with like the string to put it on. That's what it would look like right there. I think it's super cute, like the flag style. And then they also had it in pink, so I scooped it up. I won't use this one for him, but someone else in the future. I last year was actually going to have his cousin over for her birthday and make her dinner, and I was going to put this up, and it never ended up happening. Not that one. It was another one I had for her. So I always like to do little things for other people. So it's always that always comes in handy. And then, oh yeah, I grabbed more candy in that other hole when I grabbed the Nerds. I also grabbed these Airheads. I'm obsessed with Airheads. I got how much I miss them. I haven't had Airheads in a, years, in a very long time. So I, I liked them so much and went through that first bag. So I bought two more. I think it's decently priced. You get 12 mini bars. I, I remember in that video saying like, oh, sometimes you get it in stores like four for a dollar, five for a dollar. But I think those are the full size. So it's not as good of a deal as I was thinking. But I mean, 12 bars in here, that's less than 10 cents a bar. So definitely not bad. So I scoop those up. I mean, it's Halloween. It's, this is candy season, y'all. And then I saw these in the candle section and I was like, oh my God, those are so cute. So I'm going to decorate with these. I'm probably going to take them out of the packaging. I won't actually use the candle. It'll probably just be like a display. But I grabbed the white and I grabbed an orange. And then I grabbed these two in the Halloween section. I saw Crafty Girl. That's another Dollar Tree YouTuber. I love sharing these. And I was like, oh my God, I finally found them in my stores. And that baby shower I have next month, her baby obviously will not be born for Halloween. I mean, you never know. But she's not planning on being born before Halloween. But she is asking for books and she is a huge halloween fanatic so i think i'm going to give her these two and I'll, she'll have it for next year and he'll be like close to one by that time I keep saying he's having a girl she'll be close to one around that time so maybe she'll enjoy it even more but it's so cute it says a big night in booville i actually read through it the storyline is really cute super cute if you want to get books for your kiddos the other thing i was thinking originally was to get it for the school but 
we have a million books. People are constantly donating, which is great. Don't get me wrong. And then, so I figured I would give it to my friend who's having the baby shower. And this is the other one. And this one's called The House on Haunted Hill. Really, really cute. And then this bag, I grabbed these heavy duty suction cups. I've heard these are really good in the shower that it doesn't lose the suction, <laughs> even though it's constantly getting wet. I know a lot of people who use this and have their loofah and stuff hanging on it. I actually have like a thing in my bathroom, a shower caddy, and I also have like a wall shelf and it has hooks on it. So I hang things off those hooks for the most part. The problem is, is my shower caddy in this house is one of those that go over the shower head. Last house, it used to be on the corner of the shower. So, and the shower, I have a hard time getting the shower head on and off. The poles keep getting like wrapped up. It just, it's a little tight in that space. So I think I'm actually going to take it off of that and just hang it. So I got one of these so I could just hang it in the shower instead. And then this is actually my boyfriend's bag now that I'm looking at it. So he must have bought that. I told him I grabbed it in the store. But when we got to the cash out, he was grabbing some things out of my basket. And he said he would buy it. He also uh, treats for the cat. Name brand, Nine Lives um these are soft treats they're ocean medley flavor so it, it's not all the time you see the name brand products at dollar tree especially treats cat and dog treats i go in the aisle almost all the time they always have like toys collars leashes but it's rare they have the treats so because you can get like dog, cat food there but it ends up being more expensive that way i would just buy like a 10 pound bag and i have a container that i just pour it into but the treats we all know in a grocery store these would definitely be more than a dollar and then he didn't like the one i got the one that was a spray he just wanted the traditional one so he grabbed two he grabbed this is a dual fragrance oh that's cool strawberry lemonade and even has the red and the yellow and this one is new car and ocean breeze this one also has a swatch and sniff let's see out of curiosity I smell more ocean breeze than new car. I wonder how that works. Do you think it's both go on at the same time or is it separately? I'm not sure, but that smells good. I like, I can definitely smell the ocean breeze. Let's see the strawberry lemonade. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that smells really good. I might get those to me next time I go. He grabbed himself this paint scraper. Not sure what his plans are for that. And then he grabbed some Amaral for his car and I'm sure he'll clean my car too he grabbed the glass cleaner and the multi-purpose odor odor auto cleaner I've watched videos where people buy they buy certain products at Dollar Tree they say it's worth every penny and this is actually some of them they say if you go by the ounces penny to penny it actually comes out cheaper this way than it does to buy the bigger one which is crazy because usually it always comes out cheaper when you buy bigger that's why like for example what I just said with the cat food it comes out way cheaper for me to buy a 10 pound bag than for me to get 10 bags at Dollar Tree that might equal i don't even know if are they one pound bags i'm not even sure might not even equal the 10 pounds but i guess this is one of the products that's actually better off buying in smaller quantities same thing with mod posh that's one of the other items that people always get at dollar tree you get in the bigger quantity it actually comes out more expensive which is weird and then my boyfriend i've mentioned in other videos he always goes into dollar tree to buy bar soap he is a bar soap person i am not i prefer pump i like pump body washes and now i'm actually at the sponge gel if you guys watch any of my fab fit fun videos you know that uh, bar soap's never really been my thing, but he grabbed himself two of the Dove Original with deep moisture. I think that's it for his bag. He always spends way less than me. I am the spender. Oh yeah, like I said, I bought three of those. I don't even know, were they all the same scent? Yes, they were all Hawaiian Sunrise. And then this is the other scented felt tip pens I was talking about. So this one is in black and purple. And then I grabbed a Goo Gone. They don't, my Dollar Trees don't always have this. I've seen, this is a lot of, this is a product a lot of people also buy at Dollar Tree. They say it's really good at removing, it says sticky, gummy, gooey messes. What I see mostly people use it for is once you peel off like a sticker or a price tag and you still have that residue, they say this is perfect to get that off. But I've seen people even clean any, you, I would think this is the product my mom that I used when I got gum stuck in my hair when I was little. I've seen, I Vanessa, I've mentioned her before. She's a housekeeper I absolutely love from Texas. She's even used this just on really sticky messes. She buys like the spray version. I've never even seen that spray version. 
I don't she must go to a specific place I know the certain cleaner she says she can only find that like Lowe's and Home Depot maybe that's one of them I never go to those stores but I, I figured this would be good to have on hand it's a little two ounce bottle who gone it was a buck and then this I saw in the school aisle and I've never seen this before so I was just really curious it's Elmer's disappearing purple spray adhesive so it's basically looks like the glue stick except it's a spray so I thought this might be really cool to include in my craft room and then when I picked up those pumpkin candles, I try not to even go in the candle aisle because I have way too many candles. But I only went in that aisle because that's the aisle that has the pet stuff. And the only reason I actually went into the pet aisle, I do go into the pet aisle usually to see if I ever find treats. But I specifically had a reason. Her bowl broke, her plastic bowl broke because it's next to our fridge and freezer. And when I opened the freezer door, a frozen water bottle fell and it cracked in half. And they actually did not have bowls when I was there. So I don't have a new bowl for her. I ended up running into Family Dollar to get her a bowl. I was debating on showing you guys the Family Dollar haul while we were at it. But I'm already hitting 20 minutes. We'll see. Because it's not worth doing its own separate video. It's literally only like a few items. But while I was in the can that aisle, because the candles are right there, I couldn't help myself. I grabbed the pumpkin ones and then I grabbed these. How cute are these? They just say home. They had it in this pink. The pink is cherry blossom. I honestly didn't even smell these because I don't they don't really do that much of a throw. I just love having lit candles. This one is in the blue and it's lavender breeze. Oh, I love lavender. Let's see. I can actually smell that one. It's faint, but I can smell it. I don't know if I'll smell that or lit. And this one is rosemary and thyme, and it's in a beautiful green. I allowed myself to get these. The other two, like I said, are decor these because i like small candles like this for my bathrooms i love to have one on my sink and i don't have a very big sink you guys will see that when i do the bathroom in the apartment tour so these are like the perfect size for that so i'll keep these under my bathroom sink and then i had mentioned in a fab fit fun video that i think i'm gonna be doing a giveaway for the month of december i actually already started christmas shopping i don't like last minute shopping so while I was at Dollar Tree and saw this, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna grab this now. And it's literally cushion wrap. They had a whole little like shipping department. I don't think that's the right word, but like not FedEx either, but you know what I mean? Like where all the mailers and stuff are, mailers, packing tape, that craft paper, and they had this bubble wrap. So I picked it up, thought this would be perfect in case I include anything glass in the giveaway. I also grabbed this blueberry cotton candy. I like blueberry, well, I like blueberry. And I, it was just really cute and I like cotton candy. So I figured why not try it? It's only around this time of year. And then I love going into the sock section at Dollar Tree. I've given many Dollar Tree socks as gifts along with other things. I don't give just a pair of socks and people love them. They have some really cute ones sometimes. And while I was there, they had, this is actually a two pack. I'm wearing one right now. I took it off this morning to wear to work. So hence why it's off its thing. And these are from Juncter, which is a new Dollar Tree band. Some of the cutest ones I found have been from this brand. And I thought a two pack for only a dollar. And it's really nice. This one has the stay up cuff. This one has the arch support, which is this right here. If you see this stretchy layer right here in the middle, I notice a huge, not so much now because I'm, I'm not on my feet as much, but I had a job where I cashiered and I literally stood in one spot all day for like nine hours. My feet would hurt and I would notice a huge difference when I wore socks that had this. So I would save socks like these for my work days. Those really do make a difference. And this one, what I love too is it has a cushioned sole. I wish you guys could feel this. You can tell when you press down here, there is an extra layer here in the heel, in the sole, I mean, and in the heel. But I was like, for two, a buck and I get two, I'm going to get them. And then these are bum equipment. This is a new brand that's been coming in through Dollar Tree. It's kind of literally the same exact concept that has the it had this cushion sole actually even seems a little thicker than that one it has the arch support as well it's not as prominent as the other one but there is an extra little layer of elastic here and it has the nice heel here but these you only get one for a dollar so it's definitely a better deal for these but because these have an extra cushion i was like you know what it's worth it i really like that cushion and i am always losing socks i don't know what it is about my dryer eating up socks but literally i have so many socks that are just one pair i told my boyfriend i'm gonna go through them and whatever doesn't have a, a, a matching pair is gonna get tossed i just bought a new pack of 20 socks at burlington and i still grabbed these because i couldn't help myself and then i also grabbed this basket i've been wanting something like this for my coffee bar area because i have 
just like you know like the cool um syrups that you add to the coffee to add extra flavor i have a really cute jar with my sugar and stuff like that so i kind of wanted a tray to put them in to kind of display it so and i wanted something like this that was like shallower but longer this was the only color it was in but that is fine i'm i'm not too picky about that kind of stuff and then they had really cool frames i had never seen these before you guys tell me if you've seen these in your store but I love the concept of these because you don't, it's not an actual frame. It's like literally just going to be the picture. They had it in a 10 by 8. Oh, I just realized these are both 10 by 8. One is just the vertical style and one is the horizontal style. And it literally would just sit like this. I thought that was really cool. So I picked these two up. I'm going to have to specially print some photos, but I definitely will do it. I love having pictures around. Oh, I ended up grabbing another one. I didn't even realize it. So I have tons of new socks is there anything else in this bag oh yes i grabbed myself a dove not because i i've mentioned before i don't i'm not a big bar soap person but i like these for my to wash my beauty blender my makeup brushes i have a special device i use that i absolutely love if you guys would be interested let me know i could always show you when i do the beauty room but for my beauty blenders just under the water I should say beauty sponges because I don't actually use the name brand beauty blender. But these come, and I always get the sensitive skin one because these are fragrance free. Since that, once it's clean, that is an item that's going to go on my face. So I don't want it to have like tons of fragrance or anything. And then I never get soap. I've always mentioned this before. I always get the big, like really big ones that have like a handle. I don't know if those are a gallon or not. And those will literally last me sometimes up to a year. And I just refill my hand soaps in my bathroom in my kitchen same thing i also buy that in dish soap and i just refill i have really pretty glass canisters but i don't know something about this scent i just really wanted to try it himalayan salt high and it said it's hydrating hand soap it says it has moisturizing conditioners is a gentle cleanser and it's free of parabens phthalates and silicones i mean you can't beat that for a buck but there actually was a little spill i don't know if you guys can tell over here so I probably will just end up pouring this into my glass canister. I wasn't going to go to all that effort, but since it's kind of messy, maybe I will. But I just really want to. I love Himalayan pink salt. And the fact that it says hand hydrating and that it was a conditioner, I was just really curious to check it out. And then the only things from Family Dollar that I grabbed, let me see, they're right here. So I'll show it like really quickly. Well, I see two things. I don't see the other thing I grabbed get over here i grabbed these two canvases my boyfriend's actually the one that sort we have blue walls in our bath our bedroom they're light blue like this and joe's like oh i think this would be really cute in our bedroom and i'm like you know what i agree and they were only 350 each so it's this the sand dollar and the turtle he ended up grabbing another turtle one because his mom has a thing for turtles and he gifted her one and she was really happy to receive that the only other thing from family dollar was the cat bowl that i was going to show you guys and i specifically oh here it is i said i put it on the table to show you guys but all this dollar tree stuff's covering it now this was two dollars so it definitely would have been a better deal at dollar tree but whatever i couldn't wait anymore so I wasn't going to make her not eat to wait till Dollar Tree had bowls. So I grabbed this. My boyfriend said it was $2. There's no price on this. It's Sterilite Brands. Just one side for food, one side for water. I wonder how much the bigger dog was when it was. If that was the same price, that's so unfair because that one was like double the size. And then I grabbed this but just because I had the reduced price and I just really wanted to try it. I, I, I haven't used this kind of stuff in a long time. I've been wearing, using more higher end brands because I get it through FabFitFun and other subscription boxes. But I used to love St. Ives back in the day and it says it's made with 100% natural exfoliants. I love scrubs and mask it's one of my favorite products to use for my skin i feel like my skin feels amazing afterwards so this one is a gentle smoothing scrub and mask because it's made with oatmeal and it says it soothes dryness and even skin tone and it even says it's paraben free dermatologist tested and oil free it was only 225 so i said you know what i'm gonna scoop it up and try it it's six ounces and it says it's a very gentle exfoliant it's made 100% natural with walnut shell powder and oatmeal. It works double time as a mask or a scrub, leaving skin looking and feeling soft and supple. Won't clog pores. The creamy oatmeal helps you keep the keep the peace with your mind, body, and soul. Fun fact, spending time with nature has been shown to give you an instant boost of happy. All right. 
I was just curious what my fun fact was. And then these were like a buck. They were like next to the register. If you guys don't know, Family Dollar and Dollar Tree are actually sister companies. This literally has the same address as the Dollar Tree stuff. If you look at Dollar Tree, anything that comes out of the Dollar Tree warehouse always says it's from Greenbrier International. And that's literally what this says. And it's literally a mount for your phone. So it can fold and it's quick and easy for travel. You can put it in your pocket or whatever, but then you can open it and your phone will leave, lean right here. So I thought this was like really convenient. I can just keep it in my purse or something. And then this, I feel like this might have been a Dollar Tree last year. I don't know. They had the same cups that Dollar Tree sells with the wine hands, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But I couldn't believe Family Dollar had the shot glass version. It's only a dollar and you get four. So I got the purple and I got the black. This is something I would use all year round, not just for Halloween. You guys know I love like skull stuff, skeleton stuff. And I was like, four shot glasses for a buck. Purple's my favorite color and black goes with everything. They had orange, but that just screams Halloween. So because I am using all year round, the black's neutral and purple. Like I said, purple's my favorite color. And then one thing from Dollar Tree I did forget to show you. I just got a three pack of scrunchies. They had a lot, a lot of scrunchies and I have to stop myself from buying them. I get scrunchies from Dollar Tree all the time. And that's what kind of forced me to stop by, to not buy anymore when I was there. I was like, wait, I might have this. This might be a repeat, but I know I've never found a three pack. Every time I get, it's always been like a single or a two. And this is, uh, this is their new packaging. This is a Greenbrier brand. Sometimes they throw you off with the new pack. You're like, wait, is that a name brand? Because I've never seen that packaging before. But then you look at, you'll always know because it says Greenbrier. And it says this one is specifically for active. So I'm not sure, but I'll definitely try it out. But that is it for part one. Part two is going to be a little bit different. I could have honestly split this up even more. But it is what it is. The next one's going to be Christmas. It's hit Dollar Tree because that one is literally just going to be all Christmas products. And then I have a big Burlington haul as well. Because when I went to Burlington to grab the that birthday gift, I while I was there, I ended up picking up for the baby shower. And I ended up already picking up Christmas gifts. Your girl's thinking Christmas. Last year by Halloween, I had everybody done. And it was one of the most relaxing Christmases I ever had. So I would like to have that again. We shall see. But that is it for this video. Like I said, I will have an apartment tour soon. If you guys like that kind of stuff, definitely consider subscribing, hit the notification bell. Like I said, let me know if you would like me to do color with me videos or word search with me videos, or I have like sticker activity books. I'm always looking for that kind of stuff. Come winter time, I do them a lot. I love having stuff like that to do in the winter. I don't leave the house as much when I run cold all the time and then I hate the snow. I don't like driving in that stuff either. So I'm definitely more of a homebody come winter time and I don't want to just be glued to Netflix. I do read, but I also don't want to just be glued to a book either. So if any, if that interests you, definitely comment down below so I know the kind of content you want to see. I am starting to branch out. I do do hauls anytime I go anywhere shopping and I do get subscription boxes. So I am mostly a haul and unboxing channel. But like I keep saying, I do want to branch out. I just have a lot of pre-film stuff that I want to keep get out for you guys. Now, once all that's out, I do want to start changing things up a bit. If it's something that would interest you guys, I've been thinking about, like saying, doing some cook with me's in my kitchen, doing some stuff in my beauty room. I have a huge Target haul coming with tons of fall clothes. I would love to try on for you guys. But like I said, that is it for this video. It's long enough. I don't want to keep talking. So just like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you like me, if you like Dollar Tree, comment down below. Tell me, did you guys know Family Dollar was sister companies with Dollar Tree? Is there anything you guys have been eyeing and you haven't been able to find? Although I found like these books and like the crafts that I've really been wanting, the two things I really wanted the most was the ceramic ghost, if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you watch the Halloween hauls, and the bleeding skull candle. And I have not been able to find either. I don't think I will at this point. Halloween is definitely dwindling. I can't believe Christmas is already out. You guys tell me, do you start Christmas shopping early? I love talking to you guys down below. But that is it for this video, guys. Be safe.